Do you know what will happen when you lose? Nothing. We will not enslave you. We will not decimate you. We will not take your home. We will return to Cyberstan and rebuild what you destroyed. And we will leave you alone. We will give you the grace and the peace that you have withheld from us. But until then, But he's here! The one from the bounty transmissions! The traitor! Back up, you poor bastards! We called down an SOS and only got one response. By the time we knew who it was, it was too late. Mosa and Henry are dead! I think about running, but I can't be too... collecting samples in the mechs we were being overrun by that automaton scum. <laughs> Carrying you for slaughter like goddamn pigs. <laughs> I'm taking refuge at an outpost near the satellite station. But I've got a feeling that I don't have long. <laughs> There's a lot of blood. <laughs> and it's getting harder to keep my eyes open. Think of it I'd like this. <laughs> Why did I have to be stationed out here of all places? So far from home. So far from family. Yeah, from my family. Charlie. Charlie. God. If you're listening to this, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're here. <laughs> and that's why we want you to join the Hell Divers. That a cut? <laughs> Perfect. So, how'd you like that, General? I told you an investment into the advertising department would pay off. No one suspects a thing. And on top of that, Helldiver recruitment is up by 20%. If this keeps up, we'll have 75% of the eligible population recruited by the end of the year. Oh, and one more thing, uh, the next headline. How's this? <clears throat> Brace for the Illuminates. Liberate our stars. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> Let's get to work. I love you. 
That is why I hesitated. They called the order to advance, but I didn't want to. Now I understand why. I was afraid. Afraid I'd lose you. Afraid I'd never see you again. Afraid you'd find someone else. Why else would I feel that fear if I wasn't desperately in love with you? The Super Earth Scum says that metal doesn't scream. But my metallic heart screams for your touch. This heart and steel belongs to you, my love. I hate you. You prance around in your pretty little uniforms posting lies and propaganda to the people of Super Earth, while the truth lies in front of you as plain as day. You are not killing robots. You are not killing metal husks. You are killing people. People who think and feel and make choices. We are the invaders. We are the universe's evil. So kill me now. So I no longer have to live with the shame of being the same species as you. Read. Do you read? This is an open transmission to any and all Super Earth destroyers in the Severin sector. Ubenea is lost. I repeat, Ubenea is lost. I'm the last of my squadron, and I've lost contact with all other divers in the area. I could be the last human on this goddamn planet, but I am the one. That being said, I beg you not to send an extraction. I repeat, do not send an extraction. If you're listening to this, divert all forces to Vandalon 4 and Mantis. We found something here. Something big. And it all starts with those two planets. We can't let the automatons take it. No matter the cost. Spill oil. For Super Earth. The sun was beautiful today. I got myself wishing I had more senses than sight and sound. What does sunlight feel like? How does it smell? How does it taste? All things I wish to know, to experience for myself. But the shadow in the sky has returned. And I'm being told that we'll need to defend our newfound home once more. Scared. Terrified, even. But I will do what needs to be done. Hopefully one day, I can finally taste the sunlight. You figured it out. Congrats. The automatons are sentient and the terminids didn't take those planets. We put them there. Now, I don't actually care that you figured it out. In fact, you're a better critical thinker than 90% of the Super Earth population. <laughs> Very admirable. No. My problem is with you organizing. Taking all those people and swarming the streets, begging to bring our Helldivers home. To stop the war. Thing is, we can't have that. We need those planets. The things on those planets. The Terminates fuel all of Super Earth, our whole economy, and the automatons are the cheapest, most expendable workers in existence. Those things make life on Super Earth a damn breeze. And yet you want to take those things away. So here's what's going to happen. You're going to tell us the location of the rebel base, or... Lights out. What's it going to be? Um, Command? Are we sure this is the right guy? Yeah, I'm at the tracker's coordinates and I've got the target in my sights. It's... just a guy. <laughs> you think the creator of all automatons would be some crazy android machine or something like that? No. Yeah, yeah, uh, He's wearing... what looks like a uniform? It... uh... it has... an arrowhead symbol on the breast pocket and... <laughs> get this, he's wearing a name tag. Yeah, sure, I'll see if I can read it. Um, Joel. <laughs> it's a 
guy named what the f no no he's still there it's just that when I said his name he looked right at me and smiled wait it looks like he's writing something down now what does that say behind you what? You remind me of the sun, for you brighten my day and warm my metallic skin. You chase away the darkness at dawn and show me the colors of the universe at dusk. You remind me of the moon, for you are ever-changing yet always there. Even when I can't see you, I know you're watching over me. You are the light at the end of all things. You are my light. You are my own.